when you hurt the center of your body, you know, the middle back, the lower back, there is what I like to call a mental callus that you have to create. It is a, a challenge, to say the least. Oh, but you know, good days and bad, you know, deal with it. Whew. Sometimes you wake up and you feel like you've been in a car wreck and the best way to handle that is it's to get up and do something about it and be productive with that. There is a toughness to build that thick skinness about yourself. It's, a, it's an absolute here in, under my roof. It's an absolute. I got to do it. It's the inherent disdain for the condition. I don't like the condition. Therefore, I fight the condition with all I have. You know, you fight through the pain, you work through the pain, and at the end of the day, you realize that it was a fleeting thing. The day gets better, therefore the week gets better, therefore the month gets better. So with each positive step, what you put out, you get back. Fantastic. It was fantastic. I think that anybody that runs across me in person uh, especially if you're expecting a standoffish, too serious version of myself, I think you'd be surprised figuring I'm very approachable and thrive on the absurd because I, I, it, it creates a lightness to the air. I've been approached by people where, you know, they want to perhaps bring out the worst of me so it's easy that those people are easy to deal with because all you do is kill them with kindness and they kind of feel stupid first of all for even maybe picking a fight with me to begin with and then by the end of the night we're normally cracking jokes so you know uh perception is one thing reality is a whole different animal with the kid with Housecore Records, you know, as long as you deliver the product, I don't care if you turn around the very next day, sign another contract with somebody else and go do another record with someone else. Have that freedom. One record at a time, have the freedom, just deliver for us. No problem. I'm not going to hold anybody back. I'm not going to give you a contract that's this thick. Ain't going to happen with Housecore. Not going to happen at all. I'm not going to imprison anyone. All I want to do is help perpetuate a band, I guess, you know, facilitate them and perpetuate them. He catches. I'm going to tell him to play that catch. Hey, Blue, you end that right there before that break with a catch on the cymbal. We'll get him in right after that right. catch. Right Just, and you know what? Get ready to roll. Artistic value for a band, that's all on them. You know, if I like the music, whatever come out, you know, comes with it, let it be. You know, that's their vision, you know. My vision is to make sure it sounds the way it's supposed to sound and everybody's happy on that end. When I look, at the youngsters today, I find gems, man. There's bands out there that are really, really pushing the envelope. And I, that drives me, man. That's passion, always searching out new music. Yeah, I'm looking for the kids that are thinking a little deeper, thinking a little more extreme, because they still, you know what, in essence, they keep me young. They help keep me young. I live through them. I'm a music fan, first and foremost. Have I had success with my own music? Yes, of course. But I am a fan. I am a big, giant, friggin' nerdy fan. So, you know, that's all there is to it.
When you watch a great, great boxer, it is, despite the violence of the sport, it can be very uh, beautiful thing to watch, uh, artistic, stylistic, just um, an amazing, an amazing thing. The coordination, the feet, the hands, the head, the shoulders, the hips, the angles. It's a, an act of discipline, if you will. It's uh, hard to do. Back in the 80s, when I was playing clubs, it kind of reminds me of the fighter that was perhaps in the amateurs, fighting in small halls, in front of less people, Practicing in a practice room is like working out in the gym. You're working out all your kinks, you're working out game plans, you're creating a set list, you're creating your own style whilst in the gym. Then when you get signed, it's like a amateur fighter turning pro for the first time. You're in front of bigger audiences, the lights are brighter, the pressure's on a little bit more. Those parallels have always been there, despite uh, the smallest club gig possible, or the biggest arena, or the biggest outdoor event that I've played. And that's been many, you know, ranging from, honestly, uh, from 750,000 people to seven people. <laughs> you still got to do your job and make sure whether it's 750,000 or seven, that when you leave that place, they remember you and they want to see you again. She's gone. I love living out here because of the solitude, the quietness, I love nature, I love animals. About face, duckers. Time for grub. How come there's only three? You lose, ducks. You get to draw your own conclusions. You get to write from the true, most base, organic spot to where your influences aren't so much of what you've seen in the last year of your life. Your influences are what, at least for me, it, it, it's what I want to hear. There's a resilience as well. You look at your land and see what is resilient, see what has remained through these storms that destroy. Nature's going to do what it's going to do, but it hasn't stepped on us and squashed us yet. There is a comeback. There is hope. Pretty much every day of my life that I live here, I thank my, I guess, good luck. I thank... I thank the world in a strange way, and it's, it's tough to say. I'm not a religious man, but I, 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 I've been a fortunate man, you know, and I see this despite any negativities that have happened in my life. I realize that I have been very, very fortunate. That's all I got to say, very fortunate. Damn my beard. <laughs> Alright, so we good?